All right, so today what we're going to do is recover some photos uh, from a jailbroken iPhone. So if you take a look at my iPhone, you will see here in the photo albums there are no photos or videos. No matter where I go, I can look at any of these options, and it says that I have no photos or videos. However, if we go into the settings and we take a look here, let's go back to uh, storage. And you can see out of the 13.3 gigabytes that should be available, I've only got 11.1. .1, and it shows no songs, no videos, no photos. I know that I have photos on here. I know that I have songs stored on here. And this is one of the possible side effects of changing the screen or disconnecting the battery on your iPhone after it has been jailbroken. So what we're going to do is recover those photos right now using a program called iFunbox. So once you download and install this program, uh, you can use it for Windows or Mac. The first thing that you will have to do when you open it up is probably click out of the little My Devices box here because there will be advertising on the screen that you can't get out of. So after you click that box, reconnect it, go back in down here at the bottom, it'll show you the devices that are connected to the computer through the USB cable or uh, lightning cable if you have an iPhone 5 or above. And what we'll do is go ahead and just click on that. And this is going to show you the raw file system on the phone. Again, be very careful here. If you do not know what you're doing, you can damage your phone permanently. Okay, these files are not normally available. And this uh, jailbreak and this program allows you to have access to things that you normally wouldn't. So please be careful. If you break something, it is not my fault. Apple does not let you in, have access to this stuff for a reason. Uh, once we do this, we click on raw file system. This will basically show us all of the files inside of the phone. And if we go to DS, DCIM, that is the default name of the folder for our uh, multimedia like videos and photos. And you'll see here in this first folder, I have a whole bunch of photos. Like I said, it's got currently 130 items. So these are all photos that are on my phone, but on the phone itself, you cannot see them in the photo gallery. So they're there, they haven't been deleted. There's just a problem with the file system so they don't show up on the phone. So don't restore your phone, don't do anything crazy. If you go in here and um, change some of these files around, you can actually fix this problem. And what's nice about this program also is that if you select one or more of these files and you right click on it, it will give you the option to copy them to your computer. So if I click copy to PC, I can put these on my desktop inside of one of my media folders wherever I want to put it. And I would recommend you do this first because once you've got access to them, there's no reason not to make a backup. You can never have too many backups. So I would recommend that you first back these up. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and fix the phone so that we can actually see the photos in the folder on the phone again. And what we're going to do in order to make that happen, and by the way, you may have multiple folders here. I have a 100 Apple. This 101 Apple does not contain anything, in it, but uh, sometimes you have multiple folders. So you want to go in here and check and see what you have. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go down to, um, I think it's actually in, I have to find it now. I forgot where it was. Okay. So what we're going to do, I believe, might have to pause the video. Oh, photo data. Here we go. So we're looking for this folder. If you click on photo data, you'll see a whole bunch of full, uh, files called photos SQ light. Now these apparently become corrupted or something goes wrong with them. So they cause problems with the phone, uh, seeing your multimedia files. So what I'm going to do, and again, let's make a backup first of all. So these files, we will go ahead and copy them just in case we need to reinstall them. So I'm going to copy them to PC. I'm going to put them on my desktop for easy access and we'll save those for now. So later on, if I need to come back and put these back in, they're all right here on my desktop. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is take everything that said uh, photos.sqlite and I'm going to delete them from the phone. Yes, I am sure. Okay, now this will most, most of the time, this will solve your problem. What we're going to go ahead and do now is reboot the phone. And with any luck, when we turn it back on, our photo should reappear. So I'm going to go ahead and speed the video up here just for a second. So you can, um, I'll spare you the reboot and you can see what's going on here shortly. All right. So now that the phone has rebooted, if we go over here to the photo gallery, well, we should start seeing that our photos are reappearing. You can see I've got 49, 
uh, 70 and little by little these will start to restore back onto the phone these are from the phone they're not from a backup file on the computer they were actually in the phone the entire time and anything that had previously disappeared should be there so hopefully you found that helpful if i find any additional information that will be helpful for performing this process i will post it on the website so if you visit go cellphonerepair.com look for the software section and uh, I'll try to answer as many questions about this as I can, and hopefully this helped you get your photos back.